Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, I'm back. Uh, I appreciate it's been quite a while since I got a proper video done here. I have just been so, so busy since sort of mid-June with fostering, but I did finally have a moment where I felt like I had enough energy uh, to quickly sit down and do this video for you because this is such a requested video that I've had, which is my review of the Luma Cups. So I have one of each of the three sizes here, and I have to admit they're a bit dusty, so I just washed them, so there's little droplets of water on them, that's why. Um, I got sent these way, way back, I think in February, um, and those of you who've been watching me for a while, you'll know that in mid-March, I decided to start taking the progesterone-only contraceptive pill to stop my periods, because I just had enough of dealing with the pain from adenomyosis each month, so I took that decision to finally give in and try it out, and it has been working amazingly and I will, will do an update on that at some point because I think I'm almost six months on that pill now. Um, but that has meant that my periods have gradually over time, well, almost completely stopped now. I occasionally have a day of bleeding, but that's literally it, and I just wear panty liners. But I did get a chance to use this quickly beforehand, so I'm going to kind of give you my overall review. Now, full disclaimer up front, I personally do not like the disc type of menstrual cup as much as the sort of bell-shaped menstrual cups. Um, I prefer those ones, they just seem to work better for me, but a lot of people really like the disc-shaped menstrual cups and wanted to know my thoughts on how they work. So I'm gonna kind of give you the uh, general information about it and what I think about the quality of these and everything, and also my experience of using them, because I think that will still be useful for those of you who are really interested in trying this cup. So I have the small, the medium, and the large. As you can see, they come in these little like silicon pouches. I'm just going to take the small one out now. This is the one that I personally use because I have a really low cervix. My problem with the other disc menstrual cups that I've tried, which is the Ziggy cup and the um, the Nixit cup, is they were kind of they were one size. They were sort of like the big big size here, and it's just too big for me. It was always uncomfortable. I could feel it. it was pre there's pressure, and it used to come out as well. Um, so when I saw this little diddy one. Um, this I was super, super stoked with, and it did actually work. I was able to get this one in, sort of no issues, and hook it behind my cervix, and it was far, far more comfortable. I did trim the stem a little bit. This was like a long, uh, almost looks like a, a stingray, that's how I kind of describe it, like a stingray tail, uh, which you trim to however, whatever size you need. I did leave a little bit on, and I kind of tuck it up um, when I put it in. But basically, to insert a disc-shaped cup, you squeeze it together, your vagina is here, I shall open up the vagina for now. You insert it, you kind of hook this bit behind your cervix, and then you tuck this bit up behind your pubic bone, and then the blood gets collected in this little bit here. So it looks kind of like a diaphragm, but it is not a contraceptive, it will not work as a contraceptive, so do bear that in mind, you cannot use this as contraceptives. Um, but you can have sex whilst using this type of menstrual cup, which is why it's really popular, I think, with a lot of people as well, because um, it can kind of help keep things a bit less messy. So this one I was able to insert with no issues at all, and it feels really well made. This is definitely my favorite of all the uh, disc-shaped menstrual cups that I've tried. Of course, because it comes in a small, it's just perfect for me, because I have that little, um, short cervix, like I mentioned before, it just makes life so much easier. So I was able to insert it and wear it comfortably, which is the first time I've been able to comfortably wear a disc-shaped menstrual cup. So the next size up is this medium one, and again, like there's some water droplets on it because I just washed it, but that's fine. I was so gutted that they sent the the small in this clear one because they have all these really cool prints in the, like the medium and the large, and I think they do them for each size, um, and I really like this one. So you get these really cool colorways as well. So this is the medium, and I'm just gonna compare it to you for the small. You can see it is quite a bit bigger, um, like the small ends here, so, and this is, this is what the small's tail looked like as well, you see it's kind of like a, there's two bobbly bits and I just trimmed it back where I needed. You could cut the whole thing off if you wanted uh, to get rid of this, that's absolutely fine if you feel comfortable being able to reach this, most uh, disc shaped cups don't come with this little stem bit, um, but that's what the two cups look like together, and they sort of feel the same, they're reasonably good resistance, should open up very easily, and again with this one, you just sort of push it together and you insert it like this. Interestingly, this has a much deeper sort of um, catch zone than the other cups I've tried, which have been a disc shape, so I don't know whether that would actually enable you to wear it for longer if you had a heavier flow, uh, specifically because it would probably still get crushed up by your vaginal walls, but that's just one thing I've noticed about them. And then, here is the monster, here is the large. So let me compare this one to the medium. Not quite such a difference with this one compared to the small, which was significantly smaller. Um, but you can see there is still, it is still a little bit bigger. 
So if you've got a really heavy flow and a really high cervix, you're definitely want to gonna, gonna want to go for this large size. But look at the cool colorways. I love the, the silicone on these. They look really, really cool. It's kind of hard to compare disc cups to regular menstrual cups because they serve some different purposes. And like I mentioned before, I don't really, um, I, I prefer the other type of menstrual cup over the disc type, but lots of people prefer the disc type. They're particularly good, uh, as I mentioned before, if you want to have sex when you're on your period and you want to kind of keep things a little less messy. Uh, so that's where these can be useful. But if you were considering getting a menstrual disc and you were wondering which is the best one to go for, I would highly recommend the Luma cups actually because the silicone feels really good, they feel really well made, great resistance, you get these cute little pouches that you can sort of just store the, the cups in, you just basically squish it in there, and then you can just tuck the little tail in, like so, and then it's just really compact and, and easy to hold, which I think is really great. But the thing I think that's really good about the Luma Cup is the fact that they come in all the different sizes, including the one I just put back in here. Um, it just gives you much more option. I've always thought that the one size fits all with the other two main menstrual discs has been a bit of an issue because we're, we're, all bodies are different shapes and sizes. So I think that this is really good. So if you are considering a menstrual disc, I would say the Luma Cup is probably my favourite of all the three that I've tried. So that's pretty good praise. So that's it for this video guys, I know it wasn't a long one but I've had a lot of people ask me what my opinion on the Luma Cup is and I think I've been able to get it across to you in this video. I do think it is a good menstrual cup for those of you looking to try a menstrual disc and I think it's probably the best of the three that I have tried because you get the different range of options uh, in terms of sizing and you can still like trim the stem as well, they have that stem so even if you've got a higher cervix and you're worried about not being able to reach it, you're going to be absolutely fine because you have the stem and you can trim it to size as and when you need it. I've always had an issue with the one size fits all philosophy with menstrual discs they never worked for me so I think the fact that you've got this different variety is really really good and the quality feels good and I've certainly had no issues even when I was trialing it out not my personal favorite type of cup to use but I had no issues with it and it worked perfectly fine so thank you so much for watching guys do please subscribe I will see you when I next have a chance to get my brain together cover cover from my exhaustion and have something else to talk about on this channel but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the future bye everyone